from LR Libations. We are here today with the Kroger Wellness Experience to bring you guys insights on entrepreneurship, how to break out in retail, and what are some of the coolest brands that are on the market today. So our first guest is Bill from Athletic Brewing Co. He is the founder of the brand and has an incredible story in building a brand during the Sober Curious movement, either for those who are looking or seeking non-alcoholic beverages or for those who are mindful on what they're bringing into their bodies. So Athletic Brewing Co. is an amazing brand that offers both and we're really excited to have him today. And I believe he is dialing in. Let me answer. Hey, Bonnie, Danny, thank you guys so much for having me on. It's uh, an honor to be here and great to talk to you and support this great cause. Of course, you guys have been making so much noise. Uh, it's incredible what you've created. Yeah, so first of all, thanks Kroger for, for doing this and caring, which is unbelievable. And uh, Bill, you are definitely a first mover in this space and you are really breathing life I think you're creating a category, but you're breathing, breathing life into this, this very dead space. And it's amazing that what you're doing, can you just give us a quick once over on why you started this and how this came about? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so like everyone, I never, ever imagined I would be in the non-alcoholic beer world as a career. Um, it wasn't something that came up frequently in my, my life, but it really emerged out of an authentic need in my lifestyle. I mean, I like to consider myself very much just a normal, modern, healthy adult. Um, I'm really mindful in my eating. Um, I'm a weekend warrior. I had a serious day job and everything in my life kind of pointed towards performance and feeling better, being more mindful. And one thing was really inconsistent with that and it was alcohol and it like, I love everything the beer, wine, and spirits world stand for, the great family and social occasions. It just, I wanted a premium beverage that was great that I could pair with any night of the week, any time of the day, and still wake up and do my 5 a.m. workout, have a great day at work, have a full weekend, and not deal with the hangovers, the extra calories, and anything like that. And so as I started to look for options like that, there was nothing on any menu, any sports bar menu at any wedding or all these places I wanted to be. And it really drove me nuts. It was like a true authentic pain point in my life. And before I knew it, I was reading brewing textbooks, downloading curriculums and trying to figure out why has like, why has non-alcoholic beer not changed at all in 30 years while the whole grocery store has turned over into organic, great products. And I was fortunate to team up with a super talented um, co-founder and head brewer and John Walker, who'd won awards on multiple continents. And we really took it down to the screws and did away with everything that non-alcoholic beer ever stood for, how it was made, and came up with truly beer for the modern adult. Um, it's something we've all been drinking as humans for thousands of years, and it signifies great occasions. We just wanted to bring it up to modern speed. And that's what we're doing kind of brick by brick and having a lot of fun doing it. Amazing. So, Bill, I, I kind of know the answer to this question, but because I, I see it everywhere. But how are retailers responding to this? We know consumers are looking for it, but but how's the retail community responding? And, and where do you where should this go in a store? Yeah. So and thank you to Kroger. I mean, Kroger is definitely on the cutting edge of innovation across so many categories and commitment to this category. Um, I think that answer is kind of twofold. Um, People know where to find beer and looking for non-alcoholic beer does have a shelf in the store. And so we want to be easily findable and revolutionize that shelf. And there's some great new brands coming in alongside us too with Sam Adams and Lagunitas and we're solely functioned on developing this shelf. Um, but we've also seen retailers have great success moving it around where people who haven't shopped the beer category in a long time. Um, so only 50% of adults drink on a weekly basis at all. Only 40% of those adults drink beer out of that 50. So 80% of the grocery store is not in the beer corner. And so to introduce people to the category, we've seen retail partners have great success moving case stacks around the store near salty snacks and different kinds of seltzer and soda products also. So Bill, I, I've seen some numbers that blew my mind um, on the e-com side. Like you are crushing it. Um, in e-commerce. Can you talk a little bit about your digital strategy? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think in these days, 
like a true omni-channel approach is an absolute necessary, like absolute necessity. Customers love to buy different products at different times through different channels. And I think most of our customers participate in all channels. And in many ways, e-commerce can be the best marketing tool, but then people also like to buy locally. They like to buy last minute. They like to buy at value prices. And so they're all the, ch all the different parts of the retail ecosystem definitely interact in a complementary fashion. And we find that one supports the other. So, um, and there are retailers like Kroger who are leading the edge and blurring those lines between e-commerce, retail. And so it, it's really improving the customer experience. That's awesome. I think one question, you know, D to C is a great way to connect with your community. And when you created Athletic Brewing Co, something that's so unique, but after it's created, of course, that absolutely makes sense. Just because you don't want alcohol anymore doesn't mean that you're not going to miss the taste of beer or your favorite cocktail. So how did you go about finding your community and building your community? Really brick by brick. I mean, that first year we launched, we had three teammates and I was the taproom manager. I was, I was the sales force. I was the CFO, everything, like so much stuff outside the production room. And it was every weekend day, like finishing up at, like setting up at finish lines from 6 a.m. till noon and handing out thousands of beers, talking to new people, getting made fun of for selling non-alcoholic beer. Like I interacted with more craft beer bros jokes than one could ever imagine, but turned a lot of people around too. And it's, I asked them, oh, well, what do you drink for dinner on Sunday through Thursday? And they're like, water. And like, it's like, well, he could have an IPA for 50 to 70 calories and they get super excited. So. And, and how much is in a regular, how many calories in a regular beer? They're all over the map. So the general rule of thumb is per 1% alcohol, you have 20 calories. So in a 4% beer, you're getting 80%, 80 calories of alcohol calories alone before you even get to the hops, grain and everything else and the true substance. Um, so our beers are all 50 to 70 calories. So like really in a guilt free zone, they all come from all those calories come from organic grains. And so it's truly a mindful, better for you beverage that should have nice tailwinds behind it. So Bill, this has been a crazy year for everyone, 2020. As we get into 2021, what are you most excited about? I know on-premise has taken a, a minute with COVID. What are you most excited about going into 2021? You have so much momentum. You're one of the hottest brands in the, in the space. What, what are you looking forward to? Yeah, we, so in 2020, we had probably 90% of our marketing ideas and customer intro ideas taken off the table. And we have a full slate of experiential fun lined up, ready to go. That's just been on hold. It truly feels like a coiled spring. I mean, we can't wait for our bar and restaurant partners to be fully back open and to be back in the ecosystem. It's such an important part of the trade and it supports everything else. Um, we're excited for sports. I mean, to get back into venues and watch sports and like tailgates and there's so many great occasions out there. So I can't help but want to dig into the name Athletic Brewing Co. You know, and doing some research on your brand and speaking to your team as, you know, we've started working together with LA Libations and, and, and working with you guys. Please explain the athleticness behind your, your name. Yeah. So we like to think everyone's an athlete. Um, we try to be as inclusive and positive and aspirational as possible. And um, really non-alcoholic beer had been in this penalty box category for so long. It was something you were truly embarrassed to hold. And for such a positive, healthy beverage, we wanted to elevate it. And athletic is a concept that like anyone can relate to, anyone can be excited about. And it's not just for athletes, it's for anyone, anywhere. And so you can hold that label with pride and be excited about it. Um, does some of your marketing strategies really help promote that? And you know, where you guys are seeding brand, uh, seeding your, your brand, um, how, how do you pick where to, where to focus on? Yeah, it's um, in many ways, our community kind of found us, uh, the nature of the product and um, the lifestyles it fits in, like definitely relates naturally to outdoor adventurous athletes, um, weekend warriors, yogis, mindful uh, professionals. And so it's, it, it's definitely wide ranging by nature. Um, and in that, like our, 
compared to non-alcoholic beer also, like non-alcoholic beer had always been this penalty box. It was for when your drinking career was over, you had grown out of it, you could no longer have fun. Actually, the age barbell and the demographics for our products, 45% of our customers are age 21 to 34. Um, and I think it's about 80% of our customers are 44 or younger. So it's almost completely turning the traditional non-alcoholic demographic on its head. And, and we're about 46% uh, female, 54% male in our e-commerce wow. sales too, which is kind of unprecedented for the beer world. Yeah. So I've aged out of your brand apparently, Bill, but, but I do love it. Um, so real quick, you know, Kroger's doing this wellness festival. You're, you're a big part of it. Um, it it's, it's a really interesting thing for a retailer to kind of step out and do something like this. Give us your take on the whole the whole deal. We love it. We love being a part of it. And it's why we wanted to step up and like be a big contributor to it. Um, and we really hope our products help align with that mission as well as like a really mindful alternative uh, that appeals to everyone. And so we're so thankful for Kroger to help put our brand and those health benefits on a platform as well. But um, yeah, we're so, so excited to be a part of this wellness movement. So Bill, I think you're going to have a huge 2021. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to be in the front row seat to watch it. Thank you so much for joining and uh, onwards, man. Good luck. Cool. Thank you guys so much. Uh, really appreciate your help and having a lot of fun doing it. So thank you so much, Danny and Bonnie. Yeah, of course. But before we wrap up, rapid fire round. Oh. Are you ready? I'm ready. In which store aisle will I find your brand? The non-alcoholic beer shelf. What is the largest generation participating in Sober Curious? Gen Z and millennials. What was the best decision you made to adjust for the pandemic this year? We've made a lot of sustainability investments, uh, solar panels on our 80,000 square foot roof to get off the grid. Um, that's a great one. Yeah, transparency with our team and our community too has always been a great way to lead. That's awesome. What brand are you sitting next to on shelf? Heineken Zero. How old is your average consumer? About 32, probably. What do you think is next for the Sober Curious customer? We really look at the plant-based meat and plant-based dairy movements. Um, you see what's happening with like Impossible Meat and Beyond Burger. I think they are very similar trends behind mindful drinking at play. So uh, we like to call it like the plant-based meat gap, basically, in the drinking world. What's next in innovation for Athletic Brewing Co.? Oh, wow. A lot of things. Uh, Jan 1, we'll be launching uh, uh, a new non-alcoholic offering in a tangential white space. That'll be super exciting. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Making news. We just Love uncovered it. some secrets. Yeah, uh, that is breaking news. What area of your business has been most challenging to date? Navigating COVID responsibly. Um, all of our partners in all three tiers are amazing. Um, once we found the people who believed in us, we've had some incredible champions and uh, want to thank you guys as well for being one of those. Of course. Last question. As you guys are a growing business and you are scaling rapidly, in what department is your next hire? Probably on the technology front. Uh, our like we like to say we're super confident in our brand and our unique products, but we also have very unique distribution and data opportunities, uh, unlike anyone in the beer world. So we continue to over invest and over index in quality and technology, I'd say. Awesome. 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 Well, thank you so much, Bill. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Bill. Thank you guys so much. Can't wait to see you in person again. Yeah. Take care. Take care. And so that wraps it up with Athletic Brewing Co. on today's episode. Uh, I think we learned some really insightful things about how much they're focusing on, on digital. So that space is on fire. Yeah. And that brand is leading the charge. So it's, cool. It's, it's really wild. And uh, it just tastes amazing. It kind of satisf satisfies the occasion, mm -hmm. you know, without the alcohol. It's, it's really, really interesting what what Bill and his team are doing, uh, really cool. Yeah, I think so too. It's gonna be really interesting to see if retailers really start to build out an entire sober curious section. Gen Z and young millennials are the biggest category. Yeah, so what I think we'll see is, is retailers, much like 
we led the charge with an emerging beverage set, what I think we'll see is a low no sa set mm. with low and no alcohol and, and things like athletic and flying embers will, will kind of lead the charge yeah. in that space. But athletic is definitely doing it. And what I've learned in my time is, is when an entrepreneur is, is setting the, the, the pace, the big companies can do it like Budweiser and Heineken and all that, but, but the entrepreneur is going to lead the way. Tune in uh, for our next episode. We have lots of insights to share with you and hope you enjoyed learning along the way. At any point, please feel free to reach out to us. You can find us on LinkedIn, uh, Bonnie Shaw and Danny Stepper. Taste tomorrow. <laughs>